Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making uh, spring rolls. Um, what you're going to be needing is about two pounds of cabbage, uh, two shredded carrots, two shredded celeries, a half an onion, a tablespoon of ginger, two tablespoons of peanut butter, uh, two tablespoons of liquid aminos, tamari, coconut aminos, soy sauce, whatever you want to use. Uh, two tablespoons of sugar, vegan sugar, and garlic powder or a clove of crushed garlic. All right. Uh, you're also going to need a half a pound of bean sprouts. Um, that's pretty. Oh, you're going to need this. This is the spring roll wrapper. This one doesn't have eggs in it. It's just wheat flour and coconut oil and water. That's it. All right. If you get the other one, it does have eggs in it. So, um, I'm using peanut butter because the, normally they use, uh, shrimp and they use, uh, ground pork. I use the peanut butter just to give it a little flavor. So that's not usually the norm. What you're going to do is take your peanut butter and two tablespoons of peanut butter, two tablespoons of liquid tamari, uh, the ginger and about four tablespoons of water. And that, you're gonna make like a paste, okay? That's what it looks like. And then I have some extra liquid aminos just in case and you need a little bit more, okay? And I'm gonna use garlic powder instead of the garlic, um, instead of the garlic, crushed garlic. That's pretty much it. Here's your cabbage, chop it up real fine. Two pounds, this is gonna turn into almost nothing. Uh, your onions, you're gonna cut it in little slithers. You don't have to, um, cut it however you want. You don't have to really chop it up. All right, and let's get started. And I'm gonna dry, you know, I don't saute with oil. I barely use oil, so. Full high heat. A little bit of water. We don't want to, we just want this a little tender. We don't want to caramelize it. Heat, high blast, full blast. You want this as high as possible. And that's good enough. Seems like a lot of cabbage. Like I said, this is gonna cook down like almost on half of what you have here. Put your bowl on side because you're gonna need it later. You'll understand why later. and let this cook for about four to five minutes so we're back this is reduced quite a bit gonna go ahead and add your push your push your cabbage to the side all the way back put your sauce Turn it around. 
Put in your cabbage in there. Now towards the end, you're going to put in your carrots. Mix everything up. You want to taste it. If you're going to use any more salt. Would you going to add more tomorrow or not? Mm. Garlic. And mine doesn't need more tomorrow, so I'm going to put a little bit more. Mm. Beautiful. You want to let it dry up a little bit. You don't want this moist. You want it dry, see that when you push it back there's hardly any liquid? That's what you want. Remember all the cabbage? Look at how we have, this is all we have. <laughs> Reduces quite a bit. Sprouts towards the end. Mix them in. It. Turn it off. You don't want to cook your bean sprouts because they will cook once you fry them. We're going to let this cool for about a good hour. You want it nice and cold and I'll show you how to wrap them and then we'll deep fry them or bake them or if you have an air fryer you can use it. Use that instead. Uh, so we're going to let this cool for a good hour or so and I'll show you the next step. All right. So here we are. We're back. Now we're going to go ahead and show you how to wrap this. Um, it's already cooled. It took about 45 minutes, not an hour. So take a nice healthy tablespoon, about a tablespoon and a half. I have a little bit of slurry here. It's uh, water with cornstarch or arrowroot or potato starch, whichever you want to use. Just like three tablespoons of water, one tablespoon of uh, arrowroot or cornstarch. Wet the tip really well. I mean, like slather this thing. I already went ahead and did some of those already. But um, grab it. Grab it from a triangle. It's easier if you tuck these in a little further in than the, the actual one on the bottom. So, and then just roll it up. And then the side that's on the bottom, put it down just for a little bit on the bottom 
put some weight on it, that'll help it. When you take the, when you get the package of the wrappers, it's easier if you separate them before you start rolling because they get really sticky. So once you separate them, lay it like a diamond. I usually lather this side first. But you're gonna finish it off. And you got a tablespoon. Put it all over, almost towards the end. Tuck, nice and tight, nice and tight. Roll it, bring this in. Notice I'm lingering it like in an angle. I'm not doing it perfectly the same. Because I want it to tuck in and then roll. Nice and tight. There you are. See? That's what it looks like. One more, and then I'll lather it. Really wet. And one more. Tuck it nice and tight, roll it. Went in. Went in. Nice and tight. There you are, folks. That's what it looks like. Okay? Beautiful. See how the ends are nice and tucked in? And then what I do is I put them in Ziplocs and I freeze them. And they're good for about three, three months, three or four months. So um, I went ahead and I made a couple. This is what it looks like. And I'm taking a bite out of one. Mm. That's hoisin sauce. That I sprinkled on the top. You see? So. So I hope you guys try it out. And um, this will give you about 50 to 60 spring rolls. So I hope you guys try out this recipe. Any questions? Put it down in the comments. And I'll follow up with you. Thanks for tuning in. From Mi Casa Tu Casa. Peace. Take care everyone. Ciao.